Uh, he was the single child of a wealthy family, and so he grew up like seemed he seemed destined for greatness. While growing up in Manchester, he demonstrated serious potential in both sports and academics, and with his family connections, all doors were open to him. He could have succeeded at anything if it weren't for his like combative nature, his nature to fight a lot, and he lived for the adrenaline rush of a good fight and would go out of his way to get into one. His robustness and athletic abilities led him to rugby, where he could cut loose and really cause a ruckus. King excelled and gained a reputation as a promising, if somewhat reckless, rookie, and his meteoric rise came to an abrupt end when he lost his temper and assaulted a referee, earning himself a lifetime ban from the league and cutting short what most people assumed to be was going, was going to be a long, successful career. King was unconcerned. Money was no issue, so he took it as an early retirement and focused on other fun things to do. Free from the constraints of a career and enabled by the wealth of his family, David King spent most of his time at the pub, drinking, watching games, and getting into fights. Some might say he was wasting his life away. Not many people knew that he was an occasional debt collector that he fought in clandestine bare-knuckle fight clubs. When David King stopped showing up at the pub, the few friends he still had were not surprised. They figured he'd finally picked a fight with someone stronger than he was. In a way, they were right. I don't know why he would try to fight a spider. That was like, twice his size. We're gonna live forever, which is, in my opinion, one of the best perks. It's basically like barbecue and chili for survivors, except you have to take them off the hook. And then there's Dead Heart. It has to be a safe hook rescue, like, the survivor can't be hit down in like a duration of between 5 and 10 seconds. And if that happens, you gain a token as well as some bonus points. Um, the tokens, they basically, they double your points, but they only, they double the total amount collected at the end of the game. They don't make you collect points faster. Um, oh yeah, there's also Dead Hard. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like, unless you're David King's level 1, then put on Dead Hard. I mean, it's actually, it's up to you because Dead Hard is a weird one. Because half the time you'll you'll press the button to do dead hard and then like the killer will still connect and it'll see that you got exhausted anyway. It just doesn't happen. And then arguably one of the best perks in the whole game is no mither. You're affected by the broken stats effect for the duration of the trial. Your thick blood coagulates practically instantly. You don't leave pools of blood. Grunts of pain caused by injuries are reduced by nothing. Yeah! At, at max level, it's reduced by like half, I guess. Grants the ability to fully recover from the dying state. Now, if you're good, then you can survive with this. Like, if you're, if you're like Monto, you can survive with this. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I got a depth David. Ah yes, the the sur the the survivor that everyone takes a crap on, Quentin. Okay, let's see. Freddy Krueger is an interesting villain. Do. Close and the skewer was blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, this is the Quentin. Oh, yay! I love this perk. While opening the exit gates. Oh. <sighs> Hooray. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, this is a, a prestiged Meg. Her, uh, she's got blood.
Yeah, you just gotta level him up enough. If you get to level 50, and then if you prestige, you remove literally everything. Um, how it works for survivors, you always get the body piece, leggings piece, and then the head piece uh, for bloody. Body is prestige 1, leggings are prestige 2, and head is prestige 3. But it's only like the basic default outfit that you get in them. You can only prestige if your character has reached level 50, but I would wait until you have a million blood points, because that way when you prestige, you can level your character back up again. Oh boy. Okay, thank god. Oh, it's the Oni. It's the Oni. Yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. It's a really open map, so, uh, arguably, yes. Um, the only, the, uh, the... Can't any killer just walk through a door or something? Uh, right. Yeah, I saw Michael just break open the door like, get mad. No, he, he literally just walked through it. I saw a piece of wood levitate up and then just disappear. Okay, the Dead Dog Saloon. Back at this place. Oh, hey, I'm right next to a generator with Cad. Wait, Cad, are you Claudette? Oh, wait, Hellblood. Okay, so Cad, you're the obsession. Take care. Yeah, Hellblood. Yeah, Hellblood is the only one with me right now. We've almost got a generator completed. He does. Hellblood, get out of there! Yeah, your blood. The more of those orbs he collects, the more powerful he gets. He's looking for you. Somehow he'd... Somehow he didn't follow your blood trail. He lost you. Okay, alright, alright, hold on. Let me... Hellblood, let me, let me heal you, okay? Let me heal you before we do the generator. Alright, get off, get off. Alright, move. Yikes! Okay, I didn't expect him to come from there. Oh, wait. Wait, I don't... I don't think we can naturally see blood orbs. Or is that... natural? Oh boy, he's going into his rage. He's running after somebody. Alright. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna take the generator in the saloon. I'm gonna take the generator in the saloon. Alright. Um. Oh my god, all of you guys are right next to each other. All of you guys are right there. Like, two's on, two are on a gen, I see Steve running around. Cad, do you want to come help me with the generator up in the saloon? Or not. Oh, he's right- Oh, Cad, watch out! Ooh, he almost insta down to you. Yikes. I'm working on the generator in the saloon.
Oh, I thought he hadn't reached a hook yet. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna see... Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna 99% the generator. Okay, the generator. Okay, okay. The generator is at 99%. Okay, nice one, Cad. I'll come up here inside. Oh yeah, I could work on that one down the road, actually. He's looking, he's looking. Alright, help it, we need to move! trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick, and the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Okay, um, alright, Cad, recover, recover, okay? Just recover. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exhaust, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exhaust my medkit. Alright, let's see if we can put him at full, let's put him at full. Alright, good boys, good boys. Alright, let's get back to this generator, quick. Let's juice it out. He's coming! Run! Run for it! He's seen. He's seen what cannot be unseen. Thick ladies. God dang it, I'm just... Somehow Siri turned on when I said thick ladies. Hey Siri, show me thick ladies. She actually... Oh my god, she's showing me thick ladies. Okay, well... Okay, so... Okay, I'm going back on the generator. Oh, oh, it's the random. Oh, it's it's the random. It's the random. Wait, how did the random die? Was he... Did he get, um... Oh, boy. Okay. Oh, I see him. Dying light? Oh, no. Yeah, I forgot that he had dying light. <laughs> oh my god! He walked right in front of me. I stared him in the face and he just... Go away, man. Is he going after somebody? No, no, no. Alright, hold on. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I have him. Get out of here, Meg! Oh lord! Oh lord, he going! Oh lord, he going! He didn't see Meg yet? <laughs> I like how the, the piano in the Dead Dog Saloon still plays. It goes like, pling, 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 plong! Alright, boys. Um, I'm working on a generator that's on the gallows. I'm gonna stand right here, that way I don't fall through. What happened? It was likely, Meg. It was likely, Meg. Well, if we had a full party, then that could change. He's got a big tear radius. I think that's natural, though. Alright, I'm working on a generator. I don't know if anybody else is, or what. Okay, um... Okay, so, this generator, right here, that I'm working on...
Okay, I'm gonna leave the generator at 99%. He's camping? Is he actually camping you, or...? Alright, I'm gonna go for you. Alright. Alright, Cad, on my signal, you, you finish the gen. Oh boy. I said on my signal! Uh-oh. Yeah, he saw me. I think he saw me anyway. If he didn't attempt to escape, he would have at least stayed on a bit longer. Yeah, he keeps it for a long time. A green med kit. Ooh. Green. I think it's literally impossible because uh, he's just camping Hillblood. I see somebody crouching. Oh, it's Meg. Meg's just crouching over here. Oh, Meg is urban evasion. Oh, dear God. Um, Cad? No, uh, not yet anyway. Cad, how soon can you finish that generator? C can you finish that generator? I thought you were working on one. G Hellblood just said that somebody's working on a generator near the saloon. No, well, yeah, I told you when I give the signal, finish it, and you just popped it. Jesus. This game is sure exciting. Who's got a burn on him? I don't know what generators are left, though. It's likely at 0% right now. Oh boy, I hear him. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh my god, these bushes are great for hiding in. Oh. Oh, the Oni's going for it. Okay. I think the generators are all really close to each other. That's the thing. Jeez. Can someone get his attention? Why not? I'm not really going to go for greats. I don't want to... Cad, at least get his attention. I 
Oh, he's coming back. No, he's already seen me. What? Okay, I have many complaints. I have many complaints to make. Oh, good lord. Okay, so this is the hook that you died on. Good god, he's fast. Oh man, I should have taken Boiled Over at some point. This is my first. Cad, why, dude? Just please. Can you save me? Yeah, Megan, Meg, Megan. Meg is on another generator, but he's just prime. Yeah, Meg is short for Megan. I think he's just primarily camping. Okay, well, we're in the terror radius, so thank you. Alright, well, I'm just gonna. Okay, good. Well, I'm I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into the saloon. Don't out, yeah. Do not follow me. I have a med kit. I can heal myself. He's picking up blood orbs. I know that for certain. He's using his rage. Oh shit! I'm trying, man. Oh, dying light affects this as well, yeah. Oh, no, he has remember me! Sort of depends on where Meg is. Oh, no! Yikes! Oh, no! Oh my god, okay, maybe I can make it there. Maybe I can make it there. Am I going the right way? Oh shit. Oh god. Cad, leave! Cad, just leave, please! I need the points. Please, Cad, just leave. Why not? Cat, cat, I need the, I need the points, dude. I need to leave while another survivor has. I need to leave after survivor has left because I need the points. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, actually, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go, 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 go. Okay, just leave. All right, Meg is gonna be bold. Meg is gonna be big and ballsy. She's gonna leave. She's gonna try and find the hatch. Cad, just go! Cad, please! Cad! Cad, please! Hello! Bye! Oh, thank god. Yes, I did. Okay, alright, so... Hellblood was an unnecessary sacrifice. I would have preferred the Meg. Okay, I thought it didn't count the challenge for a second. Oh my god, okay. Save the best for last, huh? Oh, that's how- okay. I'm all ears? Oh, he must have seen me, huh? Okay. What are his add-ons? Akito's practice sword. The child had little use for it after his injury. Child's wound sword. Moderately increases the distance that blood orb auras can be detected. And a chipped Saihai. A baton that belonged to Renjiro. It was stolen by Kazan upon his departure. Slightly increases the duration of blood fury. Okay, well. Um... Um, Cad, if I were you, I would switch out second win for camaraderie.
Well, I mean, I'm saying that camaraderie is better than second win because second win is like, hey, pay attention to me-ish, kind of. But hey, we lived during that match. I uncovered a new thingamajiggy, and I'm going to go listen. Um, I can join back. I just want to listen to something from the archives. If it would load. Wait, so you're seeing it kicked us out of the party? Yeah, it did. I'm, I'm back here. Okay, the rift. Hey guys, I need to get the battle pass. Okay, close bonds. Alright, a savior. Unhook two survivors safely. I can do that. Earn four emblems of bronze quality or be- Oh, I can probably do that if I just live or something. But anybody can do that. Yeah, I mean, I just basically have to contribute. Okay, so this is all killer stuff, beast of death. Wait, start a chase with three different... Sur That's easy, what? Epilogue special, complete the level and collect your... Vault a pallet or window wall and chase three times while using the perk window of opportunity. I can do that with Kate. Okay, so do I either safely unhook two survivors or do I earn four emblems of... Hold on. Yeah? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll wrap it up. Yeah. Um... Earn four emblems of bronze quality or better or savior. What is this? Hide within 10 meters of the killer without being caught for a total of 30 seconds. I'm definitely not going to be able to sabotage the hooks. Mm, I might as well do this for Kate, but I want to listen to the new thing. Hitting zero. Nope. Lazar approaches Dwight and slams his desk. Max didn't work out. He was a weak male I just wanted to crush. Fear. Probably. Anxiety. <laughs> confusion. Dwight feels them all. How is this guy the CEO? More than that, he wanted to crush the employee he's replacing for being... For being... A weak male. Dwight doesn't even know what that means. Weak male? Who talks like that in this day and age? His hands fidget nervously. He swallows a growing lump in his throat. Lazar smashes his desk again. I need you to be bolder than him, Dwitch. I need you to get the buzz out there that we're the best company in the business. Did he just call me Dwitch? Dwitch. He just called me Dwitch. Dwight's still not sure what he's supposed to be doing at Peak 22. He's a story hook supervisor. He has no idea what that is. Sounds convoluted and made up. Sounds like bullshit. Ooh. He took the job because he needs the money, and he can't dress up in costumes for birthday parties anymore. Kids can be so cruel. He's supposed to create fake profiles and write positive reviews about Lazar and his company. Lazar gives his desk another thump. Be a lion, Dwitch. Pounce on the internet. Pounce. Get the word out. Peak 22. We design story hooks for ads that transcend humanity. Dwight has no idea what that means. Lazar leaves a test on his desk and walks away. Dwight stares at the test, unsure. Rose, the manager who hired him, approaches him and explains it's an intelligence test. Lazar wants to make sure he's the smartest in his company. Best advice? Flunk it. Dwight smiles. Gotcha. <laughs> Poor Dwight. He's got to go through so much, really.